Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the brand new high range nitrate checker from HANA. Now this tests nitrate from 0 to 75 parts per million, which is much better than the previous tester they brought out for nitrate, which tested only from 0 to 5 parts per million. And that one had a really long testing process, which took about half an hour and ran through a lot of steps and was very frustrating. Whereas this is much quicker and easier to use, and of course gives you a result over 5 parts per million, which was another restriction of the low range checker. So today I'm going to talk you through the unit, show you the testing procedure, and tell you if I think it's any good. Now this is not a sponsored video, I bought this myself, so with all that being said, let's get stuck in. To start with then you add 10 millilitres of water from your tank to the sample vial. It's a great idea to invest in a little fingerprint cloth, so you dust off the fingerprints so the HANA checker can read the water properly. Once you've done that, you turn the unit on and then insert the vial. You press the button again and it reads a baseline for it to get started against. Then you need to add the reagent and in order to do that, you need to cut around the line to make sure you get every last drop of the powder in there. Then carefully add the reagent to the sample water, making sure you don't spill any. It's really important you get every last bit in there. And as you can see, I have spilt some out the side, which is a pain in the backside, although I haven't spilt too much, so it shouldn't make a massive difference to the outcome. Now I considered reshooting that footage so it's nice and slick, but I wanted to show you one of the downsides of this unit, and that is that it is a little bit of a pain in the backside to get the reagent out of the sachet and all of it into the bottle. But I've got 99% in there, so let's move on to the next stage. And the next stage is to shake vigorously for two minutes, but you don't want to watch that, so we'll come back when I've finished. When you finish shaking then, you need to give it a dusting off before it goes back in for its final test. Now it's worth noting at this point, as you can see, that it's gone pink. So this is the exact same procedure as the Sally Furt kit that you might be used to, only the difference is you get a robot to read the colour instead of having to do it by eye. So I reckon that will be much more accurate. You then pop the sample back in the nitrate checker, press and hold the button and it will start a seven minute timer. And we'll come back in a minute and see what the result is. Now while it's doing its thing, let me tell you about the reagents. You get 10 of these sachets in the box, so you are good for 10 tests. However, if you want to buy replacement ones, they are a pound each and you have to buy 25 at a time, so they are pretty expensive. Although to be fair, I will rarely test nitrate, so it's not that big a deal, but if you test nitrate regularly, it's going to work out pretty expensive and you could easily spend 30 quid a month on these kits. Now my nitrate is pretty stable in my tank and on my previous tests it's always come out at about, around 5 or 10 parts per million, so that's what I'm expecting. Let's see what this says. So there we are, the HANA high range nitrate checker reckons my nitrate is 10.6 parts per million, which I reckon is probably accurate. I've got no way of testing whether it is accurate or not, but I think it probably is, and I always like the HANA checkers and I feel like I can trust them. And in my opinion, the new high range HANA nitrate checker goes along with the alkalinity checker and the phosphate checker as really good test kits. And these three are pretty much all I think I need for my tank in terms of testing. So it's a thumbs up from me. It's a little bit expensive at £70 plus the reagents, but all in all, it's a really good bit of kit. And if you've got the money, it will save you time and probably mean you test nitrate more often, which is a good thing. Now, if you're still watching at this point, that probably means you're a subscriber. And if you're a subscriber, you might be wondering why I've done this video in a different style to my usual style. Well, I had my second COVID vaccine this week, I had a bad reaction to it, and it absolutely wiped me out. So I didn't have the usual time to spend on a video. However, I really wanted to get one out on the nitrate checker because I think it's a good bit of kit. And as a bonus, I'll give you a quick update on my tank. Now, we've had a bit of a hot spell here in the UK with temperature hitting 30 degrees C. My tank usually sits at 25 degrees, which is 77 Fahrenheit, but it went up to 27.5 this week, which is 81 Fahrenheit. 
So to combat that, instead of using the crappy little hobby fans we use, I have used these two enormous house fans. Now they look horrendous, they take up a load of space, and they sound like an airplane taking off, but they have made a difference to my temperature, and as you can see, it has now peaked at 26.3 instead of 27.5 degrees. So it's made a significant difference, and I suspect my corals will be happier for the smaller temperature swing. If you enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.